progress back with the wine series. So today we're going to talk about orange wine. Um, for those of you who've been going out to really hip restaurants lately, you probably uh, noticed that there's a lot of uh, wines called orange wines uh, that are appearing on restaurant menus. Um, so what the hell are exactly orange wines? Um, are they made from oranges? Uh, the answer is no. They actually have nothing to do with oranges. Um, they, uh, they get their name from the color. I don't know if you can see it. I've got a glass of orange wine here. Um, but yeah, if you can see the color, it's kind of a orange amber-ish. And that's where the name comes from because of the color. So what exactly is orange wine? Um, so I gotta explain a little bit of how wine is made for me to explain how orange wine is made. So if you, how red wine is made is that, you know, you harvest the grapes, you crush the grapes, and then you ferment the juice that comes from crushing those grapes. But while fermenting those juice, you leave the skins of the grapes with the juice and that's where the wine extracts all the color flavor as well as some structural components like tannin and other things and that's where the red wine gets its color from white wine on the other hand oftentimes how it's made is it goes to the same thing you know you harvest the grapes you crush the grapes and then you ferment the juice however the skins are removed uh, prior to fermenting that juice uh, that's why it's clear, it's, uh, it, uh, it doesn't pick up much color, uh, and then that's how white wine is made. Orange wines are essentially white wines that are made in the red wine production method, meaning it's white grapes that are cr harvested, crushed, and then it's fermented with this white grape skins left on. And why would somebody do that? Um, one is a tradition. Um, it's just been done that way for a long time, especially in the areas of where this wine comes from, which is Georgia, uh, that kind of um, uh, Georgia, Croatia, Serbia, that area. Uh, they've been making orange wines for a very long time. Uh, and a tidbit of trivia, uh, the evidence of the longest or the oldest winemaking in human history is found in Georgia. So that's where uh, uh, the wines have been made there for eons, I mean, for a long, long time. So tradition definitely has a lot to do with it. But also, it has a lot to do with style and flavor as well. And now there's a lot of new, there are a lot of new wine producers and wine makers out there who are experimenting and then who are moving towards uh, making uh, orange wines because it's cool, it's different. Um, what that does by leaving the skins on is that it picks up a lot of that structural component that you would find in red wine, but not in white wine, like tannin, that also gives a lot of a, it gives a fuller body, it gives a more tannin. Um, uh, so yeah, it's just a different kind of thing. It's unique, it's different. Um, for those of you who are uh, red wine drinkers and don't like white wines, orange wine may be something to try. And vice versa as well, if you're a white wine drinker, but you don't want to venture out quite into the red wine, try orange wine. Give it a try. It's not for everybody. It's oftentimes a little funky, a little earthy, a um, little, little eclectic. Um, but I personally love it. I think it, it is a phenomenal wine with food, especially anything that's fermented. Cheese. Um, I'm Korean, so kimchi. <laughs> I think kimchi and orange wine. That may be a new thing. Maybe that I will make that a thing now. Uh, but yeah, anything fermented, sauerkraut. Um, I think all that stuff is really good with the orange wine. So. Um, Give it a try and uh, let me know what you think. All right, cheers.